Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Hope you're still enjoying your Friday. If it was work today, then I hope work was good. If it was just relaxing, I hope that was good as well. It's a big day today. Um, if you aren't aware, there's a lot of reports that came out from Germany that Bayern Munich have set a deadline of tonight, basically on the Harry Kane situation. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk a little bit about the absolute onslaught of transfer rumours tonight. It's been absolutely bonkers. Um, I was out with friends earlier and it was just the sheer amount of information that was getting sent to me. It, I'll have my opinion in a second. So we're going to talk a little bit about the many rumours. I'm going to talk about, I think, four, four different rumours on just strikers alone. Not even... All the other situations, just strikers alone. Um, so we'll, we'll jump right into it. Just one second. Uh, Mickey van der Ven... Here we go, confirmed. It left centre back is sorted. Just an FYI, that came in safe of Rizzo Romano. It's going to happen. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, we see him with that lovely lily white shirt. So, that's a little bit of good news. I'm going to start with the man on the thumbnail because that purely was the situation. And this was from Fabrizio Romano. And he said, From what I'm hearing, people in the club, bracket Tottenham Hotspur, are considering many names. The scouting team appreciates Gift Orban. So I talked about Gift and how he was, you know, a guy that scored a lot of goals uh, for Ghent. He was a guy that really suits the style of play of that, you know, back, you know, back line in terms of, you know, playing on the last line of the fence, really playing in behind to really be a bit of a poacher, finish this last poacher. So definitely, definitely uh, suits that situation. Um, in regards to that, there was, I thought that was just about it. And obviously, Ale, uh, Alejo Valiz would be the situation of those two guys. Then it went radio silent. And when radio silent happens, it means something's going on in the background. Um, normally. It doesn't always mean that, but normally. And obviously, we're waiting till really the deadline today of being the Harry Kane situation. And, and, and it did come out that from, Jay, uh, from uh, the Telegraph, sorry, that that was the deadline that was set. Also came out that Harry uh, Daniel Levy, sorry, was not happy about this deadline debt for uh, de deadline set, sorry, for Harry Kane, which I don't blame him. Like you're, you're, you're obviously I, I can understand Harry Kane's camp saying that we want a situation answered quickly because obviously if we're playing in Germany, we need to sort of logistical stuff out for Germany. But if we're playing here, I also want to be able to knuckle down and get ready for Brentford first game of the season and set off scoring goals. Going off the golden boot, going off for competition wins, what have you, right? And it, there was nothing happening of it. And there's different rumours saying they've offered 95 to 100 million euros. There's rumours they've offered 120 million euros, which I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say it's one or the other or it's something in the middle. I really don't know. There's so many varying rumours. But then we start getting new, the, 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 the sort of Tottenham timeline was getting nuked full of rumours. So let me start with the main guys. I'm, I really want this guy. So from Fabrice Hawkins, he came out and said, Randall Colo Moani has asked to leave Frankfurt. Eintracht Frankfurt are prepared to let him go for the right price. Fair enough. Like he's your main guy. You want to get the money out of him to reinvest within the squad. Super on board with that idea. Smart business plan be it 85, 90 million pounds. I genuinely think it would be something like that. Hence why if you sell Kane, you replace him with Kola Moani and you're asking the rest of the team to step up and do their job, right? Um, there was that, right? So that was the first of the three because obviously uh, the, one of the four was Gift Orban. So that was the first of the three. Then... On top of that, there was the information that from Rudy Giletti uh, that said Jonathan Davis remains a top target for Harry uh, for Tottenham Hotspur if Harry Kane leaves. Lille wants somewhere between 50 to 60 million euros to evaluate proposals for the striker. So I say probably 60 million euros will probably be what, what will get him. It's just over 50 million pounds. Guy scored 24 goals in the league on last year. Definitely something to be excited about. And then there was this one that really came out of nowhere. We talked about Jonathan David. We talked about Kalamari, uh, Dusan Vlahovic. We talked about quite a few different strikers. And then for De Marzio. De Marzio, tier one, genuine tier one, top quality source, said that Spurs are in contact with Porto for striker Mehdi Taremi. Spurs are ready to offer 24 million euros, while Porto are asking for about 30 million euros. Taremi scored a lot of good goals for Porto. Definitely someone that is... European known, 
no slouch, nothing to be sort of scoffed at. But to replace Harry Kane, Jonathan David, I quite like Jonathan David. I obviously really like Randall Cullen Moani as well. And Gift Orman, I really like Gift Orman as a, as a project striker. But do you skip on uh, for, the, for Gift because obviously you've got Valise? Do you skip on Gift because you've got him? Do you make Cullen Moani your main guy? Do you make Taremi your main guy? But Taremi, I don't know, with that kind of money, if we get Taremi, fine. You then go get Taps Over. There's no, there's no if, months or babies. Like Taps Over has to come. You then go shore up the centre back position that makes it one of the strengths of the team. You then any sales you make, you then go right number eight position. We go banging out there. We go flying. If not, you don't get Tremi. You still get Taps Over. You go Kolomoani and then sales fund the rest. And if you do that, Kolomoani and you get Taps Over for Harry Kane, I can understand it to a degree. It will still hurt. Harry Kane is still a legend of the club, one of the best players you and I have ever seen. It will still hurt, but you can supplement it with Colin Moani and Taps Over. You really, really can. Um, so looking at it, when we look at Taremi, and that's Dimarcia, that that's nothing slouch about. You look at Fabrizio Romano talking about Gift Orban, nothing slouch about. Hey, you look at Fabrice Hawkins, good quality source, nothing slouch about, about Colin Moani. You look at Ruzzoletti, obviously about D Jonathan David, still nothing slouch about. There's a lot of good sources there talking about a lot of really good strikers. We've got Radio Silence. And at the time we're recording this, just to let you know, is 11 past 8. I'm currently speaking. I'm, I'm six minutes in, 11 past 8. So call it uh, 5 past 8. We've seen nothing about Harry Kane being accepted or rejected. We'll know something soon. And if we know something soon, even if it's 10 o'clock tonight, I'll make a video. As long as I'm awake. As long as I'm awake, I'll make a video. We'll have to wait and see. But let's talk about the hypothetical about these strikers coming in. All right? Anyway, guys, that's it in the video. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Hit me in the comment section. Colin Moani, Mehdi Taremi, Jonathan David, Gift Orban. Who's the guy that you're going for to replace Kate if he was to leave? Let me know below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.